two, one. What's up, guys? It's me, Todd. I'm live. How's everyone doing? There's no one here. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to the future. That's who I'm talking to. I was watching some Gary Vee in the background, getting in on the chat. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Gary Vee live, man, but something that you want to do. Good stuff. Well, my name's Todd. I call myself the flipping hustler because I buy things at garage sales. Well, not recently, uh, but garage sale thrift stores, all kinds of stores, and I sell that stuff on eBay. And so uh, that's what I do. I've been doing that since uh, December 5th of 2016, and I've got a premium store, uh, just about a little over 900 items in there. It fluctuates. Um, and that's about where I'm at. So this is a live shipping and flipping show and I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it These are pretty uh, Pretty casual shows Just just working, you know, it's a live working show I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut this down I'm gonna Shut this down Because I need my laptop All right so we'll go like that. <coughs> Excuse me. One minute and 36 seconds. Must be something else going on this morning. Let's take a look over here. Let's see what's going on, folks. Looks like I've got uh, a couple new subscribers. Three people just popped in. So that might be from being on that show this morning. That's pretty cool. All right. Got it. Gary V's live, Chick Pickers live. She's awesome. She's good people. All right, well, I'm just gonna start showing you what I've got to ship here. Uh, the first thing that, well, the last thing that just sold like 20 minutes ago is this vintage keychain. It's a Burger Chef on the card, salesman sample from 1982. Very cool. Uh, this was part of the sponsorship deal that I had or I have uh, with the company. Got a whole bunch of product, talked about them. Now I get to sell their stuff. And so I got $18 for this plus shipping. So it's pretty cool. Go over here and see. Let's check the chat. Maybe something's going on here. Or is everything stalled? It's stalled. Oh no, it is working. What's up, dude? How you doing, Kelby? I've been doing good, man. Been doing good. Just staying busy, working, doing my thing. How you been? Been staying put? Gonna do a little bit of shipping this morning. This isn't opening up. How's it going? How's it going? Two people popped in. Thanks for being here. Alright, well, I'm just going to let you guys do your thing and just get to it here. Because we gotta get these things shipped off. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the stuff all processed for shipping, and then I'll go about 4 o'clock so that everybody gets their stuff. So that's pretty good. We'll do it that way. Got nine to ship. Nothing too crazy. But, uh, you know, we made some money, so. It's all good. Thanks for being here. Once again, my name's Todd. I'm talking to one person just like the old days, man. I love it. I love it. I remember talking to one or two people. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so my title here says Rare Vintage 1982 Burger Chef Keychain on Original Salesman Sample Card. Got 17 bucks for it plus shipping, total 22.15. I'm gonna go ahead and protect this thing and get it shipped out. Uh, hey, I'm gonna need a little bit of cardboard. Uh, Cause I like to press between cardboard. Looks like a good piece. Sounds like a good piece. Alright. Zero people. What's up, zero people? <laughs> uh, that's actually not wide enough, wide enough cardboard. Let's go like this. And I've got some thank yous I want to say, but I'm going to wait till somebody pops in. Maybe my channel's broken. Did I break it? Let me see. Hello? Thing on. 
Maybe it's not on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a bag. Uh, I like to use Ziplocs because I know that they're zipped and that the product is safe. So we'll do that. If you've thought about selling on seed on eBay but you haven't started yet, what's stopping you? What's the hold up? It can be done. I promise you it can be done. But you have to start. And if you do it, you'll be glad that you did. You'll say, geez, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Ooh, first plant of the morning. That's awesome. That is super. Five minutes and 48 seconds, and two people have come and gone. This is a record, folks. I'm going to have to change the title to this to... Whoa, they forgot about Todd. That's all right. That is all right. Oops. Because when I started this channel, I started it just so I could talk to myself. And so it's back to it looks like, and that's all right. All right. So I like to put on a piece of cardboard. So it's going to secure that. And I'm going to put another piece of cardboard over this so that there's no way that this can get damaged because this is listed as minty condition. Minty means minty, right? So, I'm going to go like this, cut this piece off, razor blade action. Oh, that one's dull. Let's change it up. I'm going to go over here and see if maybe my phone's not registering people watching. Maybe there are people watching and I just don't even know it. Is that possible? It's possible. It's possible. Alright, so that's that. Zero there. Alright. New found pass. Don't do who that is. Let's go ahead and open that up over there. So, what I'm trying to do is alleviate any chances of uh, it coming back, right? So, if you do your job, you protect it, it really works out good. Maybe, just maybe, I should have done something different. Like, like what? Uh, try and get this thing to work. That's like what? There you go. There you go. All right. It's getting kind of warm down here. So, change it up. All right, we got somebody watching there. Hey, how's it going? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Hope you're having a great Monday, man. Thanks for being here. Well, I'll tell you what. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning, ready to rock the day. Last night, I was talking to my mom. And I said, you know what? I'm going to bed early because I'm going to be up early. She's like, why do you want to be up so early? I said, because it's Monday, and I'm going to crush it. She's like, really? I said, like, you know it. Yeah, she knows. So here we are, and that's what we're doing. Question day. Watched some uh, Les Brown this morning. Uh, who else did I watch? The thing I watched was motivational. Good stuff. Got me going. Is that what you guys do? Is that how you start your day? Oh, man, that's the third face plant of the day. That's three. We're going for records today, possibly. I don't know. Anything's possible. But uh, how do you start your day? Uh, how close do I want to cut that? Oh my gosh. Is everybody counting these things? What an idiot. All right, we're going to fix this like this. 
putch over there. Maybe that will alleviate some of it. But we got this going on. Let's try that. Let's see if that helps. No. Yeah, that is kind of better, huh? You guys like that better? All right, cool. Two people here, four people there. All right, you let me know what you want. You want the lights on, lights off? I didn't cut this quite short enough. I was being too protective. Yeah, I haven't seen Ramblin' Hick for a while. I haven't seen a lot of you guys for a while. It's been, uh, last time I was live, I did a live auction. And once a bunch of people get here, I can talk about it. So, if some people show up, I will talk about that thing because I've got a lot of thank yous, man. I do have a lot of thank yous to talk to people about. Do, do, do. How was your weekend? Hey, what's up? You can't stay, but I just go pick up your son. But I just can't. What's up, Kimberly? Excuse me, thank you for being here. I saw that you're back on. You're back on the tubers. So you know what that means. You know what that means? That means we're going to have to hang out sometime. Oh, but you're going to be random too. I'm random too. That's how I ended up here now. <laughs> you know how I do it. Alright. Well, thank you for popping in. I do appreciate you. Drive safely going out there. Put your mask on. Put your gloves on. And get home. And we'll see you soon. All right, so I cut this down, reprotected it. Now it's good. I can jam it in a box or in a bed in a one of these. I'm waiting for my poly millers to show up. If you didn't know, the coupons are here, guys. So go get your coupon if you've got an eBay store. Go turn in your code, pick up some product, uh, some eBay shipping supplies, whatever. I got some poly millers this time. But I tell you what, I sure do love 10 by 13 manilas. You know, they're basic and it just works. It just works. So put that in there like that. We're going to bust out a thank you card. And a little calligraphy pen action. Let's see what we've got going on. For sure, let's hang. I'll always make time for your friend. Word. Cool, cool. Thanks for being here. But thanks for popping in and popping out, popping around. All right, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, if you want to talk about anything, you sold something cool you want to talk about, you got something to promote, put it in there. Do me a favor. Those two people that are here, go share this on with me, on Messenger or somewhere. Go share this with your friends, man. And let's, let's get some people here. Because I know that I do that for a lot of you guys. I go share, 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 and then people show up. So let's do that. Can you do that? You have a fill in the postal boxes for UPS. Oh yeah, I already I just paid my post office, my post box fee. Uh, I've got a little post office box because in the town I live in, we all have post boxes. Uh, I paid thirty five bucks every six months, so seventy bucks a year. Yeah, let's see who this first product's going out to, and I'll be back in the chat in thirty two seconds. Going to somebody named. Yep, that's right. Okay, Darren. Cool. The Kelly Hustle. You saw Gary B, so you got me. <laughs> right on. Thanks, man. Yeah, Gary B was awesome, right? Yeah, that's what I was watching just prior to uh, going live, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go live while Gary V's live, which probably is not smart. But then again, it's, there's like a billion people in the world, right? So, what would Gary V say? He'd probably say. Psh Go live, Todd. What are you doing? So I did. So, yeah. Just do what you got to do. Yeah, he is, man. He is. All right, so we're going to write out this thank you card real quick. If you're new to my channel, my name's Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. What I do is I buy things at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, auctions, wherever I can get a good deal. Sometimes big box stores, wherever. And then I flip it on eBay. Uh, I also do handwritten thank you cards which some people think is just crazy, crazy. But heck yes, he would say go live. Yeah, he would. Uh, I was, I messaged him like a bunch of times. I'm gonna see if I can go live with him at some point for 32 seconds, right? Reezy met him. If Reezy can meet him, I can meet him. Everybody can meet him, right? It's possible. Everything is possible if you take action and believe it. So anyways, I'm gonna go do a handwritten thank you card because to me, that makes a difference. 
and I got to throw on some glasses because I got to see what I'm doing. So I'll be back. Let me see here. All right, actually, let's bring you down to Alphabet Street because you haven't gotten down to Alphabet Street. Long time. Boom. I wrote out my question for Gary if he were to call me because I've got him in my phone. But if he calls me, I've got my question. Okay, ready? Here we go, guys. Let's put this out the way. Got it right, got it right, all right. Let's check that chat real quick. I try and stay up on the chat, man, because there's nothing worse than, hey man, my friend, nothing worse than uh, having people not acknowledge you in the chat. All right, uh, all right, So I guess this would be the asthma part of the show. Now, if I was shipping off 30 products a day, I wouldn't have time to do this. I would pre-write them. But because we only got nine going, and I've got nothing but time, I'm good with handwriting them out. Because to me, it does make a difference, man. People love it. People love it. Check that chat. Land Shark Picker. What is up? How you doing, sir? Got Mr. Craig, Land Shark Picker in the house. Thanks for being here, bud. And then on the outside of the envelope, I will write the person's first and last name just because. So that's weird. My computer says zero people watching, but my phone says three people watching. How can that be? All right, I'm gonna flip back over so I can get this guy's last name. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay. Can't see what I'm doing. Can't see what I'm doing. Got to double check where I'm at here. Okay. I know if it was S E N or S O N. Let's go. All right, check that chat. See what's going on over there. Look at that. Got uh, good morning, Peter. Peter. Is Peter Kelly Hustle? Is that someone else? Something different? I don't know. I don't know. Two thumbs up. Two people here. Boom. Look at that. Two people. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna drop this in here. Close it up, and then I, I. No, I'm just joking. I'm not gonna lick it. That'd be gross. That'd be gross. So I just go like that, like that. Bust out your tippity tape. Get out your tape. You got to get out your your flipping hustler tape gun, and get to it, right? Lickety split. <laughs> I'm only allowed to call you Peter Craig. Oh, okay, you guys. It's an inside joke, man. I don't even know what's going on, but that's cool. All right, so tape that. And then I also tape around the edges just to be safe. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? So just flip this over like this. Hope y'all had a great weekend. Hope you're accomplishing a lot of stuff. Since we're all locked up, I hope you're getting some stuff done. I'll tell you what, the house has never been cleaner, you know? My wife is home, my daughter's home, and everyone's doing their own thing, but then we all come together and do your thing, and then they go do our own thing, and it's pretty cool, right? I'm loving it. I finally got my wish to have everybody in the same place, you know? Anamora. Good morning, Anamora. Pete is a use for wraps. Oh, wraps. Who used to call tortillas tortilla shells? Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Borderline. All right, well, I got my people here. Oh, my pe these are my people. What's up, people? Good to see you. Did you have a great morning? Who's doing what right now? Who's doing... Who's doing what? Because this is a live working show. A lot of times I see people doing their live working show and they're sitting down. I'm thinking, man, how are they doing some working show talking and sitting? I don't know, man, but... When I work, I gotta be standing, dude. You know, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You tell me. How many of you stand up to work? How many of you sit down to work? Hmm? Trying to get up. I gotta be standing to work. Unless I'm listing, because I can't stand to list. Because then I'm on my phone like this, standing, and that's dumb. That's when I'm sitting down. So I'm taking pictures. So the only time I, I sit down is when I'm listing. Oh, that's here. Craig, that's why I call Pat. Crouton, because someone once asked what pita was, and he said bread, which is true. <laughs> yeah, it's like dry bread, eh? All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and throw this thing on the scale. Keep this, let's keep this train moving here. Got some uh, nylons to ship. We got some Hot Wheels case to ship, some Coca-Cola stuff, some CoverGirl stuff to ship, some drawers to ship. You know, some scrunchies. You know, nothing too crazy, but it all added up, so. When I'm mad at Pat, I tell him he's stale. <laughs> all right, four ounces, folks, 10.3. Gonna go over here. Four ounces, I already had that right. 10, 13 by one, enter. 278, scroll down, looks good. Print, oops. Got to plug in the USB, yay. Eh? Alright. Check that chat. Poor Pat. Alright. Is everybody vulcanized? Make sure you get vulcanized. Have you all been enjoying having the children at home? Being able to to guide them throughout their day. Y'all digging that? I think it's pretty cool. I try. But, you know, kids are kids and they want to do their thing too. So, you got to let them out with some line and then got to reel them in and let them out and reel them in. Isn't that right, Caroline? She don't hear me. All right, so one done. Eight to go. Let's get her done. Next up, let's do some uh, Calvin Klein. Ladies drawers. Flipping goodies. How you doing, flipping goodies? These are a size A. Some jars. Um, those we don't have to put in between any cardboard. I will throw them in a Ziploc, though. So that when the postman drops them in a puddle of water. At least I want to give the I'm gonna give the postman the option, right? I want to give him options. Yeah, if you gotta drop them, go ahead, man. I got it. So, go ahead and protect those. And write out a thank you card real quick to whoever this is. What? All right, well, I'm just going to write a, a generalized thank you card because I'm not quite sure who that is. Could be anybody. So let's go back over here to the uh, classic flipping goodies. Flipping goodies, how are you this morning? How are you doing? You flipping some stuff? I know you are. I know you are. I saw you. I just watched your channel this morning. As a matter of fact, you have a 10 by 20 storage unit. Am I right? Is that you? And Amora saying hi. And we have Crystal. My friend Crystal. How you doing, Crystal? How you doing? All right. I'm just going to write. Yep, that's him. All right. Cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. Let me write this out real quick. Let's go back down to Alphabet Street. All right, let's throw on some glasses so we can see what we're looking at here. And write out a basic thank you card. You ready? Here's some, what would you call this, guys? Thank you card, thank you card asthma. Ready?
Do you include some kind of a thank you card, be it handwritten or otherwise, in your packages? If you do, put a one in the chat. If you don't, put a two. Not that it's right or wrong or otherwise. It's just something that I do. Something I've always done in every every industry I've ever been in, as far as sales and whatnot. Always thank you cards, man. Um, because my my thought process is it's always easier to maintain a customer, to retain a customer, to make a happy customer even happier uh, than it is to go out and find a new one, right? And right now, return customers can really be a, a, a game changer. Okay, so I didn't put the person's name on there because it was kind of questionable. Uh, so I just did a general. I'll drop this in here. Put that in the ziplock and we'll bring you back up there. And we'll check out the chat. Flippin' Goody says two. No. Rose's Closet says one. I do two. I don't handwrite every time though I buy thank you cards with my eBay coupon now and then write on those yes yeah just a, a question uh, there's times where I do there's times where I don't um, but I would say 95% of the time I do but when I don't because I forget I get going and get going and I just gap it and I'm like oh well sorry and then I feel bad later See, that's just that's just me being me. So. It sounds like uh, Mr. Flipping Goodies. I can't remember his name. Um, gosh, I want to say it's Scott, but it's not Scott. Anyways, he he's to the point where he said he needs a warehouse, guys. How cool is that? That's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I was digging that uh, file cabinet system thing you got going on, Mike. All right, Mike. Uh, I've got a file cabinet upstairs. It's the, the regular, it's like a five or six drawer, about this tall, but they're deep, you know, but they're not the sideways, they're the deep ones. And I was thinking of emptying that thing out and bringing it down and setting it right there, because that would really work out cool. So, you know, Brian, Mike, <laughs> it's Mike, man. How's Anamora doing? How are you, ma'am? I usually just sing to her. There's usually a lot going on. So much easier yeah I bet it is because when you said yeah there's a guy who's got the all the bands of the ABCD and I'm like don't he's talking about me <laughs> but that's just how I've always done it man you know and that's how I learned that's how everybody else did it uh, but I also s steered away from that as well uh, of course I still got shelving with you know whatever going on there but I also have racks, so every time I sell something, I don't have to go dig through, you know, that. I can just flip through here and say, okay, well, there it is, you know. I can just flip through, and there it is, there it is, there it is, or whatever. And uh, it just makes it easier, you know, with, with racks. I've got one more rack that uh, I don't have down here because there's just not, not enough room to put everything. This is all stuff that needs to be worked on. It's going to be taken care of today kind of got things all picked up ready to crush 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 it man do it take down this big picture I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna put that because it's humongous right now it's just in front of a shelf uh, because I moved those over there right so if you haven't seen what I have going on down here this way I've going on. I just hung these curtains up kind of looks ghetto but I kind of like it too because when all the lights are shut off and I've got the Christmas lights going on then it's pretty cool. It's kind of like my own little, little fort, my own little realm, whatever. All right, guys. He's laughing his butt off. Sorry. <laughs> Animore is laughing. Just placed behind something else. Yeah, it's a big one. All right, back to it. Let's go ahead and uh, put the tape on this. Keep on moving. 
All right, and then after that, we're gonna do this really sweet Orkin keychain. Now, I've got these keychains before, right? I've had these, but I never had it on the card, and that's what makes it valuable. Someone paid $17 for that thing, right? Maybe he worked for Orkin. Maybe his dad retired from Orkin. Who knows? Maybe her dad retired from Orkin. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It only takes one person to want it. Right? So. Let's see scale. I had to go back to using my original scale, guys. This was my original scale. Right? Because my Accutec, I got water in the basement. Oh, it was a while ago. Uh, a month ago. And my Accutec was sitting right there. and So that was it for that. So I'm back to that. And then I've got my other backup scale. So sometimes you have to go backwards to go forwards. And I'm like, should I go buy another scale? Why did I do that? I've already got two. You know? It's just the universe's way of humbling me and saying, you know what? You need to go back to where you started and just crush it from there. Don't worry about everything else. All right. Busting out over here, gonna print this off, guys. That is 3.4, so we're gonna go ahead and round that up. Looks like the dryer is done. Did you hear that? Clothes are done. 10 by 13. That's good. Whew, got a lot quieter, didn't it? That's wonderful. That's wonderful. This is going to Cedar Falls, Iowa. All right. Five people here, four thumbs up. I appreciate you guys being here, man. Monday morning. Haven't seen anybody in a long time. Maybe that's why. It's all good. Print. Zip. Five and five, stay alive. All right. There you go. Next. Next. And the reason I'm not going to go until 4 o'clock, guys, is because what I do is I mask up, I glove up, I go to the post office, I drop my stuff off. I'm like, I don't even want my receipt. I bounce. I'm in there. I roll out, come home, strip down, go take a shower, throw, or first throw my clothes in the washing machine, hot water, go take a shower again. It's been, I've been doing that for a while. And the reason is after the fact, I want to be able to sit down comfortably and go, okay, I didn't bring something home, right? The slower chat makes me think of the good old days when you had under 200 subs. I know, huh? Five people, it's awesome. Flipping goodies, <laughs> no luck with pickup. Uh, No, I live in a, a little town and we all have uh, peel boxes. There is no no mailman. There's no mailman that comes up and down my street. The only mailman we have is they have these trucks or whatever, but they're out in the country delivering rurally. They don't so everyone in town has a mailbox at the post office. So and I talked to the guys like, hey man, can you come pick my stuff up or what? I didn't say it that way, obviously. Um and it seemed like it was gonna be more of a hassle. And I didn't want to stand there long enough to care. <laughs> so I just Here's the stuff. I'm out of here. Yep. And if it's small enough, I just put them on the blue box outside. You know, I've got a good, good postal system up here, so I don't worry. Yeah, that'd be cool. If you could do that, Kimberly, I would appreciate that. For sure. Uh, just drop stuff off at her porch or whatever. Alright, up next is... Let's do something... What did I say it was going to be? Well, let's get this out of here, because... It needs to go. Uh, this is just a little <laughs> keychain. You know, it's a key holder. You put your key on there and then you drop them inside, put them in your pocket. So there you go. Uh, real estate, there's no home like the one you own. Love it, Realty. And salesman sample. So I'll throw this in a little Ziploc. Little tiny baby one. Little tiny baby one. And uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Are they going to fit in there? Perfect. Perfection. Let's check that chat. See what I'm missing. Going to do a sidewalk drop off. Okay, cool. Your mailman stop picking up, Crystal. Yeah, I bet. Shoot. I feel bad. 
How do you do it, uh, Mike? Does your post guy pick it up or do you drop it off after you do your shipping at... Because it looks like you do your shipping there at uh, the at the storage warehouse facility, right? Possibly. Whatever. Ask her about manifesting hot dates by wearing her heeled shoes. <laughs> she said it. She said it wouldn't make it. She said I don't want to the window, but I want to see how it goes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so for the smaller packages, I've got the little 8 by 6ers So we're going to drop the right in there. Oh, yeah. Look out. There's FedEx and UP. USPS all picked up at the house. Nice. That's cool. And Kimberly's laugh or Crystal's laughing at Kimberly. I pack a storage unit. Okay, yeah. I thought it looked like I saw your three inch tape gun there. I'm watching, man. I don't watch a lot of people, but I've been watching uh I've been watching a couple people. I usually keep it on the down low. Walk around the house in hills. <laughs> uh, you know what? <coughs> Excuse me. I think that we can make this as fun or as not fun as you want. Obviously, when we go out into the real world, it sucks because I feel like I'm put. I'm going out to battle. You know, I put on. I'm. I feel like I'm on a mission, right? But when you're home, got control. And if you want to have a theme day, heck. Throw on a cowboy hat and a cowboy shirt and have a theme day. You want to have that 80s theme. Who cares? You're in your own home. You're in your own little realm. Have some fun with this, guys. I mean, yeah, it sucks. Obviously, we know it sucks. People are dying. It's terrible. But there's always the flip side. So, you sent a job. What? Job so Oh, he's at work now. Okay. He's an essential. Ah, man. What do you what do you essentially do, Mike? And if you're essentially at work, why are you watching me, buddy? Get to work. Don't get in trouble because of me, please. She was hoarding shoes to get a hot date. Oh, I, see, it took me a sec to process that, Kimberlina. Yeah, she's a trip. She's funny. Without me. You would not be streaming. Without me, you would not be streaming. Oh, dang. You work at YouTube? I was like, wait a second, what are you talking about, Willis? Oh, he's got like a techie. He's a tech. Well, that's cool. I'm glad you're there. Thanks for being there then. But, but I would rather have you be at home and me not be streaming because this, I mean, your life is more important than me streaming. I'll tell you that, buddy. So, yeah. But I deliver your content to houses. Okay. Well, thank you for delivering my content to houses. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, this on the skizzle. The skizzle. The skizzle. Remember when Johnny Carson used to flip his pencil like that? How many, how many people can remember that? Johnny Carson, that was his thing. He'd flip his pencil. Rummage for Riches, thank you for being here. How you doing? Good to see you here. That is 1.3. 1 1.3 and a 8 by 6, I believe. So let's go ahead and round that up to 2. 8 by 6 by 1. Enter. Had to change coffee cups because my other coffee cup was empty. I saw something last night that I don't want to pack. Ah, oh, man, I hate when that happens. It's like I'm glad to get the sale, but dang it, right? And guess what? I forgot to put a thank you card in there, didn't I? Well, you know what? This early in the morning, I'm just going to go ahead and crack this thing open because I'm okay with that. Now, there's sometimes if I would have forgot, and I would just forgot. It's too bad, so sad. But I caught it, so we're going to go ahead and do the right thing. Hey! This person lives where my sister used to live. That's crazy. Look at that. Bye, Carolina. Be safe. Be good. 
Go do your thing. We'll see you soon. One, four, three, eight. What's that again? One, four, three, eight. That's right. We shall see you soon. Couple, couple of pickers. Hey, couple of pickers. How you doing? Couple of pickers. How you doing? <laughs> Rob and Lisa. Yup, that is. Fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes your eBay away. Hey. All right, let's write out this thank you card real quick, guys. Ready? Are you red eye? Are you? Are you? All right. This is going to Ron, man. You know Ron. It's going to Ron. Let's bring it down to Alphabet Street right quick. Move this out the way. A little tripod action. That, like that. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. My stomach just said good morning. Ready? <sighs> Bam. Someone told me that they don't even teach cur uh, cursive writing. Who was it? Some state, I was talking to somebody, and they said they don't teach cursive to their kids. I'm like, how can that be? Because if I remember correctly, there was a whole industry. Hold on. I can't talk and write at the same time. Actually, I'm not. I just, it is what it is. Okay. Um. That there was a whole industry around. They had these banners at the classrooms that went across the top of the above the chalkboard and stuff, and it had the thing how to make an A in cursive, how to make a B, how to make a Z in cursive, and it had numbers. A one. Start here, go over here, two, go here, down here, three, four. There's a whole industry around cursive writing. What happened? Did I miss something? I'm just joking. It just popped in my head, and so I had to say it. <laughs> Zero people watching, started streaming eight minutes ago. I'm going to have to refresh this. Let me refresh. Okay, there you go. Started 42 minutes ago. And Moore is here, Kimberly's here, or no, Kimberly left, Crystal's here, Craig's here, flipping goodies, Rob and Lisa, thank you guys for being here. Alright, so we got that taken care of for Ron, I'm throw an envelope, Let's see what's going on. Your son learned cursive because he had trouble with regular writing, signing my name is as close to cursive as you get. You can write a lot faster in cursive, like if you've got to just get that idea out there on the paper you don't lift your pencil right or your pen so that's another little trick I think yep and I'm not I'm not talking smack I see I don't know what my deal is I just is an idea cursive I don't know oh my point was that people appreciate seeing it because they don't rarely see their name in cursive and so yeah uh, your boys went to private school, and they taught cursive in preschool, and then printing later. Bam! See? There you go. There you go. Truthfully, I don't remember the last time I wrote something. Really? Really? Let me think. Last thing I wrote something. See, I scribbled this out this morning. How have you changed your sourcing for your eBay store? It was a thought, and I'm like... <laughs> Because I knew that if Gary V did call me, or when he does call me, I'm going to be nervous. And if I don't have it written down, I might forget what I'm going to say. So. Okay. Okay. Guy's name's on the envelope. Put it back in here. And now, I will sleep better knowing that I did my job. Right. That go like this. And I think I might be 
Oh, almost. Now we're out of coffee, folks. Still, I run upstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over now since I... Actually, I don't even have to do that, do I? Nah, I don't. Oh, that tape didn't quite make it. Have you guys cracked open any books that you've been wanting to read? Have you, uh, have you built a fort lately? Gotta build a fort. We're locked up, man. Build a fort. Have some fun. Get the blankets out. And then crawl in there and read a book. Or there you crawl in there and write something. I don't know, man. Just take it back to the basics and have some fun. You know, pull a little TV in there, bring your Atari in there, inside your fort, and pretend it's 1985 and just enjoy the moment. And if you have kids, say, this is how we used to do it. With the phone books on top of the chairs, on top of holding the blankets, and then you drag everything in there. Do it. They'd be like, Dad, you're crazy. Well, no, you're not crazy. You're creating memories because that is something that they won't forget. Because most parents won't do that. They won't do that. Build a fort and then crawl around and be a kid again in your head, right? They won't. But what you're doing is you're creating a memory for your child. Because they will remember. They'll forget all the other stuff you bought them, all the stuff you did. But they'll remember that one time that Dad built a fort, man. And that was awesome. Right? So, do it. Okay, two ounces. Power rent. Go check that chat. Everybody's quiet this morning. Everybody's quiet. That's okay. You guys can just watch me work. Do my thing. Next up, we're gonna do this. It's uh it says we're number one in home protection, orcan pest control, numero una. And it on the back, it has all these stats as far as how many you can order and how much it costs and the different slogans available and so forth from 1982. So go ahead and get that thing situated. Click back over here. Six people here, seven thumbs up. Appreciate each and every one of you and your time. Time, time, time. Zippity Dymo. Throw it away. Three down. Four to go. Five to go. Some to go. We shall see, right? Six to go. Some to sell again or what? Uh -huh. Okay, let's do this. This is going to someone named Cal. Kyle, thanks for your business. Appreciate you, Kyle, if you're watching. Chances are you're not. But if you were, that'd be cool. All right, so just like that other one, I'm going to throw between cardboard, keep her safe. That, I'll chop it to make it fit. And it'll be good, right? Let's see where we're at here. Measure it out. So I was watching Scott Bird Picker I don't know, a month ago or something. He had showed where he taped his tape measure. Mine got cut here because I chopped it by accident. So I put my tape measure on here, and that's a big time changer, man. It really saves me time because I just go like this, and there you go. I'm not like, where'd I put my tape measure? Because if you guys know me, I lose everything. So if you haven't done that, do that. If you've got a designated space, tape your tape measure to there. And then I keep a ruler handy so I can do the other parts of the measurements. But um, it works for me. It'll work for you. Let's go back over here, check that chat, see if I missed anything. Truthfully, I don't remember the last time. Wow, everybody's really quiet. You guys are quiet. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, topics, anything you'd like me to speak on, uh, let me know. For sure. Did you watch Les Brown's? Uh-oh. Hey, Tommy. Where's Tommy, Tom? My phone's dying. Hold on, let me plug it in. 
I got 15% or half 15%, but you lose everything. <laughs> and more loses everything. I hear you. There we go. Boom. There you go. Ba -boo. This, this, cut this as well. Oops. Oh, yeah, Craig. So the next thing I need to do after I get my shipping done, I need to, I do need to run somewhere. And I don't really want to. I have to go up to Menards and get a sump pump. It's located right. You can't see it, but inside there is a sump pump. And it runs hourly. Always does. Um, but when it turns on, it turns off. Now, it makes a terrible sound. And uh, it's not good. And I can't wait till it completely goes out to replace it. I, I'm just going to go do it. So I'll do that. Also, I need to check my PayPal because I'm going to be sending mom the, the cash from everything that happened. Everything's finally processed. Everything's gone through. And I'm going to do a live video where I, everyone sees where I transfer it over and whatever. Um, I've added some cash to it too to bring it to a number that... that you know, it's not the number we need, but it's the number that I can get to right now for her. So, uh, yeah, that'll be coming up. Pretty excited. Very thankful. Uh, I think I'm going to use one of these. When I was at the bins with my sister and my mom when I was in Colorado, my sister's like, look at those bags. There was a whole bunch of them. They are golden propylene comic book bags. And so, yeah, they were in the bins. So I, I grabbed them, or she grabbed them. And those are going to work out great for situations just like this. Don't you think? I should have done that with the last one. It's a little bit nicer display or presentation. But, whatever. So I'll scrap this and I'll fold it back. Put a little tape action. A little tape action. Anna says she loses everything. that and then go like that tape it like that boom what's up fat Albus? how you doing thanks for being here thank you for being here <clears throat> I don't like the way that tape looks see now I'm gonna be a nitpicky man but I just think you know how do I how would I want it to look when it shows up at my doorstep uh, will your mom be able to get a water heater? <laughs> She's close. So basically, uh, as a total, as a community, we put together eight hundred and fifty-four dollars uh, through that auction, right? And people are still are making videos of the bags and stuff. Um, eight hundred fifty-four bucks. I kicked in the difference and I brought it to an even thousand bucks. So I'm still a thousand bucks shy, but I'm still working on it. We're figuring it out, and uh, I'll, I'll make something happen. But uh, yeah, so we were at 854. I made up the difference, brought it to an even thousand. And uh, but what happened was I transferred the money out of my PayPal into my bank, waited for my PayPal fees to come out because I want to go ahead and pay them. So I just paid my fees. PayPal fees are paid. Then put the money back in. Well, it takes three to five days for it after you request to have it put back in your PayPal. So that's what I'm waiting on. It could be there right now for all I know. But you'll expect it, or be expecting a video on that, a thank you video, because uh, a lot of you guys helped, and some of you helped even after the fact. You didn't even buy anything, you just donated money, which was awesome. Uh, like Crystal. Crystal kicked in cash after the fact. I was like, wow. I told my mom, she's like, wow. So my mom has sent out some thank you cards. Uh, I think there's a few more addresses I still need to get to her so she can do the rest of it. But mom's all about thank you cards too. So, yeah, half is good. I'm, we're halfway there, man. Um, mom's like, well, we sh we're supposed to be getting that. You know, I should be getting twelve hundred dollars or whatever from the government, and that I can make up the difference. And I was like, but mom, that's a month or two away. I can't have you. She's like, it's like taking a bath in a thumb thimble. It's terrible. It's terrible. But mom is doing what she has to do, and uh, I'm proud of her for being tough. And uh, I'm doing the best I can on this end. So we'll get her figured out. Have no fear, y'all. I got some ideas. 
<clears throat> Elvis, good morning. He says he's just trying to sell stuff. Good. Do it. Sell it all. Mm-hmm. Has anybody uh, been listening to any music or not been listening to any music? What do you listen to to get yourself motivated? I know that there's a handful of you guys that I will send you messages of what I'm currently listening to at that moment when I send it to. And it's usually a motivational song or something like that. I'm like, this is working for me, man. Try it out. I've been digging this song by uh, T.I. and Jamie Foxx called Winner. And it just, it's like a like an anthem, kind of like a, a Rocky song kind of thing. Gets me pumped up. So, I'm just trying to find you guys some questions, man. Scott and Punk get you moving. Ooh, yeah, there you go. Let's get a little, some trumpets and stuff going. I was looking through your store, Crystal. I was looking through your store uh, a couple days ago. And... I saw that you're putting a lot more true vintage in there, like, uh, you know, the rockabilly looking stuff and whatever. That's cool. I liked it. Alright. I think that'll work. Let's go through this on the scale. So because the whole point to me talk about going back to my old school scale is it's hard to get a reading when it's covered, right? Duh! This sucks. So what you do is, if you don't know, if you're new to reselling, you don't know how to work your scale, you get your scale, you get yourself something, you put it on top of it like that, right? And then you zero out your scale so that it goes back to zero, and then you're golden, you can see your little tray. So, going back to 19, or going back to 2016. <laughs> All right, zero, throw it on there, 3.4, round her up to four. Uh, Crystal says, I haven't been listing. I have nothing to list right now. I'm looking into some alternating sourcing options. Oh, yes. Yes, that is a topic. That is a topic. Um, that is one of the, that was my question for Gary V. Right there, look. How have you changed your sourcing for your eBay store? Um, I've been looking on eBay. I've been looking, I, I'll uh, type in vintage toy lots, reseller lots, Whatever I think that I want to research, I'll type that in. I'm like, okay, I see an opportunity there. You know, you have to find the right opportunity and find someone that has a whole bunch of something that they don't not quite sure what they have, but you see a few little things in that something that with your education and knowledge, you can pick it out and then buy it, flip it, sell it. You're very busy on Etsy, so that makes up for it. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. I'm not on Etsy. I'm not on Mercury, but I've got the apps. Don't ask me why I'm not. I'm trying to keep everything picked up off the floor, man. I swept the entire floor. I vacuumed concrete. All right, here we are. Ah, uh, did you put the thank you card in there, Todd? No, oh, I didn't. Well, we have time, and I've got a rep for text. So, just gonna crack this bad boy open again. Maybe I can just uh, hit it with the razor blade instead of having to cut it completely. I'll just give it a little cut like this and I'll slide it in. Alrighty. Slide it in. Right to the top. It's not a song. I think that's a song. Let's check the chat, see if anybody's saying anything. Crystal said something. She says she's very busy on Etsy. All right, so this is going to do dude named Kyle, so we're gonna bust out a black card. Like that. All right. Oh, I'll just leave you guys right there. Ready? See, if I stay back, I don't have to put my glasses on. But if I get up on it, then I do. Looks like my handwriting's sloppier if I don't. Or 
to say. Okay, here's a question. Uh, what number of coffee cups are you on? How many cups of coffee you had this morning? I've had uh, three. I think three. But my stomach just said, I think you need pancakes, Todd. That sounds good. Pancakes? Anybody down for some pancakes? I have bat pancake feet over here. Six people. Wow, it's been so long that I haven't seen double digits. That is blowing my mind. Mind blown. Halfway through a 20 ounce, but it's 8 a.m. now. Okay. What time is it here? Oh, it's 10 o'clock here. It is 10. Man, that was a fast six hours. Fast six hours. I have to take me a nap today. It'd be great. I took a nap yesterday. Uh, I used to feel bad about taking naps, but now I'm like, you know what? If I feel tired, I'm gonna take a nap. So I take a nap and set an alarm for an hour. Get up, refresh, ready to crash. I used to just try and power through it. No reason to. Eight. Round her up to four. Be right back to the chat. Four. Ten by thirteen by one. Enter. <whistles> hmm. Oh, it's because it's going all the way to California. Check that. Check. Coffee ended a long time ago when you're up at 4 a.m. P.S. Snaps are bomb. Yes, candle hoarder. You're right. I was up at 4 too. Uh, I, my first cup was a, a Keurig cup. And then I brewed up a pot of coffee. And I had two cups out of that. Thanks for being here, candle hoarder. Alright. Moving right along. See, at this point, guys, all these, I can just stick right in the, right? P.O. box. I think all of this I'm going to be able to, uh, except this. Let's see what this thing weighs, by the way. Don't forget to zero scale, folks. 11.3. Okay. I think next up we'll uh, go ahead and ship these drawers off. These are mossy oak, two pair of camo, one pair of black, size 28, 30s. Uh, this was all part of that Dollar General light, General lot I bought. When was that? I've been selling. Uh, I bought like four totes of Dollar General stuff uh, last year, and it just keeps going. It's, it paid me out the first week and stuff consistently like this is from there this is from that <laughs> this is from that you know it's crazy how that that one choice to go to Dollar General that day and spend 70 or 80 bucks has just paid out over and over and over, and over. so uh, yeah take action guys well I don't know about now but you know if you do have to go out and whatever mask up and go do what you gotta do Right. Be safe. Um, I'm just going to put those in one of those. I call that good. I'll be glad when my polys get here though too. Check the chat. Seven thumbs up. I appreciate that, guys. Seven thumbs up. Forty-two minutes in. I like it. And I like it. So what do you know, candle hoarder? I can't remember, is that, uh, you changed your name, didn't you? You're someone else, and then you changed your name Candle Hoarder, or have you always been Candle Hoarder? Let me go make sure I'm sub to you, because that name is not ringing a bell. Let me go see. Oh, no. 
Well, I'm subscribed to you now. All right. Up, six people here, nine thumbs up. All right. So, if you, if, uh, do you only sell on eBay? Yes, I do only sell on eBay. Mess our head almost. I do. And you? Where all do you sell? Where all do you sell? What do you do? Amazon, website, Etsy, Poshmark, Walmart, eBay. <whistles> Scared of you. Dang. All over it. Guess I better Google you then, huh? See what you got going on. Let's see. Working on it. All the places. Yeah, man. Dude's like air. He's everywhere. That's my line. I'm gonna go to your channel, Fat Elvis, and make sure I'm, I got you. I do. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that bell notification there. Alright, I got you now. Got the bell turned on. Didn't have the bell turned on before. Apologize. That happens. So, if you guys see someone that you think you might have uh, been sub to, go double check because you might not be. Or go check the bells because you might not be. Okay, so here's some drawers. Let's go ahead and... Ah, oh, you know what? Man, this is like everything. Every single one of these I've just got. That's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm human. Crack the battle. Focusing on selling stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that's not... That is a smart thing to do. That's my point. That is not a bad thing. Um, yeah, the more I focus on one thing, something else suffers. And this last two weeks, I've been been focusing on what was going on, getting the house set, getting my basement reset, getting everything just reset, reset. And now I feel like everything is reset, and now I can just move forward. But sometimes you have to take a step back, man. You have to take a step back, take a breath. <sighs> take a look around, get things back in order. Uh, slow down the chaos um, and for me clutter was chaotic and so that was messing up uh, I couldn't be f I couldn't be productive yep so now everything's back and I'm back and we're gonna go write this out man so sorry Hey, I'm sorry to my bro that just called. I couldn't answer your call, dude. I'm live. Uh, it's me. I'm live. You know what? I better go call my bro back because I, I better. So anyway, is that my brother Paco? I need to go call him, see what's going on because it's like 10 in the morning and he usually don't call 10 in the morning, which is 9 o'clock there. I'll make sure everything's cool. So uh, friends are priority, right? You guys are my friends, but if you were to call me, I would do the same thing for you. So I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Um, thank you. I'm going to go make my call and see what is going on with my bro. All right. Thanks for being here. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, uh, and take care, guys. Go hustle. Go sell something. Go do something. Go build the fort on your time off. Go build a fort. Go play with your kids. Go have some fun. Go color. Uh, be childlike in your mind thought, but uh, try and teach lessons as you go. God bless each and every one of you. Like, share, subscribe. One, four, three, eight.